Inverse energy is an automated building energy modeling calibration platform. First of its kind, we provide a comprehensive dashboard view of what your, if you own a building, what your building is using for energy. It is 100% automated calibration, which means 100% accurate. And uh, no one has an automated calibration tool until now. So our space is building energy modeling. It is a niche market. It is somewhat complex. I will try to give you some insight in the next five minutes. Uh, we estimate the market to be about $8 billion annually. Even a fraction of the market is measured in millions of dollars in a month. So energy is the largest single cost to a commercial building. Uh, average building is over $2 per square foot per month. An example of a simple 10-story building with 15,000 square feet per uh, month is over $300,000 a month in energy costs. A bigger example, Hancock Tower, you're talking millions of dollars a month. So how do we improve energy efficiency in buildings? Energy audits model energy usage, but conventional energy modeling is time consuming, it's labor intensive, and it's extremely expensive. One of the big problems here is that the 50% of the largest buildings use 90% of the energy. So this is where we're focusing on, it's two and a half million, uh, two and a half million, uh, yeah, two and a half million commercial buildings in the US. It could be an office building, it could be uh, residential, industrial, or government. It doesn't matter, what matters is the size of the building. Um, even 10% of that market is $70 million a month. So here's where we see the opportunity. As we said, conventional building energy model is slow, expensive, it's antiquated, and it's laborious. This is the, this is the slide where you laugh. Uh, we can build an energy model in 15 minutes, whereas a conventional energy audit will take you like five to six weeks from the time you start your assessment until you get your report. We can do it in 15 minutes. It's incredibly uh, cheaper, and it's a live model. Here's how it works. So what you're seeing here on the right-hand side is our interface. So if you owned a building and you wanted to uh, do a model, you would be looking at this screen here. You start with, at the top, enter your uh, utility smart meter data. The next step here is where you enter some high-level HVAC information about the particular building that you want to model. This is where the calibration comes in. And then the last step is you select your building from a model like a, a map similar to a Google Maps and then you bake it for 15 minutes and Voila, here is your live energy model. So and it's important, one note here is that we, uh, uh, our accuracy, our methodology has been validated in coordination with the Georgia Tech High Performance Building Lab, Professor Godfrey Augenbro. Um, so what you're seeing is this would be a live energy model uh, in your building. And this data can be used for energy audits, for demand response programs, uh, building retrofit programs and any other kind of energy efficiency programs to help your company save money. So who's going to benefit most from en inverse energy? Any company, like a commercial real estate companies or any governments that have lots of buildings, buildings of different ages, um, heating and cooling systems that need to be replaced, these companies can use our solution to look at their, their buildings, find out which ones are the least energy efficient, which ones can they invest their money in first to save their money. So the market, again, we're first to market with a scalable, it's urban scale, 
automated calibration building energy modeling tool. Again, no one has automated calibration until now. So here's how we see um, reoccurring monthly revenue sources. The basic, the top is our invert, uh, advanced energy audit, $150 a month. You get demand response programs and retrofit incentive programs at $50 a month. And you're looking at about $500 million a month. That's if you had all 200, $2.8 million, I mean, 2.8 million buildings. Even a 10% addressable market penetration, avenue revenue, annual revenue is over 700 million. Inverse energy represents speed, cost effectiveness, much, much more accurate, and this is calibrated specifically to each building. It is scalable at what we're calling urban scale, building, city, or state level, and it's a live energy model. Where we are, we're in the commercialization stage now. Our prototype is built. We are seeking funding to take it to the next level, which is to scale and test. So to take action, you want to contribute to global energy efficiency, invest with inverse energy. Thank you, and uh, I'll open for questions. So it is, we, we link to the, the hourly interval data from the smart meter. So we're just reading the data of the meter in the, the, the building. Sure. In your market, what portion of buildings have the smart meters installed? So the question is, I'm sorry, the, the question is, as I understand, is what percentage of buildings have the smart meters installed? So it's not. It, it's not necessarily a smart meter. We just need to, we just need permission from the building owner to get the, the meter data, their uh, utility meter data. So they, we just get it from the utility. Question? Okay. What, what's your setup process like? So say I have a 50 story building and I, I want to engage with you. What, what is your, how, how do we go about that? Okay, so the question is, what's the setup process? He's got a 50-story building, they want to use inverse energy. What's entailed in that? So if we go back to the, um, let me just go back here because this is, it's really simple. So here's the first step. This is literally takes about 20 minutes from start to finish. So we don't need, we don't need to come to your building, we don't need to do anything. This all happens with you on our website, our interface. Um, it's actually not a website, sorry. On our software, like we just said, we connect to the energy, uh, the, the utility meter data. The next step is you answer questions about your specific HVA system in that building. This is, this is where it gets, it's important to calibrate specifically to that building. Then here we select the building from a map to just get basic building geometry. Wait. And then a calibration time is about 15 minutes. So from start to finish, it's about 20 minutes. That's, that's the involvement between the two of us for you to get a, a building energy model. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't hear you. That's all things to take into consideration. It's all built into the model. What about the surface area on the building with windows? All taken into consideration. Yep, it's all factored in. What modeling engineering? I'm sorry? What modeling engineering is simulation? What modeling engine? DOE2. I'm sorry, actually, the question was what modeling engine are we using, and it's DOE2. Question. It's a slightly silly question, but who's your end customers? Because I'd imagine you're talking about a 50 story building. Institutional asset managers will own the building, and they don't really care about the energy costs. So who's the end person that's going to pay for this? 
So, all right, so the question is, who's the end user that we're targeting? So it is the building owners, building owners and operators, utility companies, and then governments and policymakers. Thank you. Thank you very much.